I've always dreamt of being a galactic ranger. Doing big things like Captain Cork. You don't have what it takes. I'm here with James Stevenson from Insomniac Games. They've got a new game, or is it, called Ratchet and Clank. James, tell me, what's going on here? So Ratchet and Clank is our you know, new start for the series. It's the game that's based on the movie, based on the game. It comes out next spring alongside the major motion picture. And we basically went back to the first Ratchet and Clank game, and we've reimagined everything. It's updated modern controls, new Clank gameplay, brand new bosses, new levels. It's going to be familiar for fans a little bit, but completely different and a great new entry point for new fans of the series as well who see the movie and enjoy it. Stop, 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 stop. Clank gameplay, new Clank gameplay. Tell me, what's he doing now that he couldn't do before? Well, we haven't shown it yet, but we have all sorts of new puzzles and new design for Clank gameplay. The weapon arsenal in this game is new. It takes weapons from across the entire series. There's some brand new ones. Every gameplay segment, if you remember the first game, you can strafe. The weapons were called gadgets, so like they were just kind of gadgets that shot ammo and things. So we've updated the arsenal, the weapon upgrade system, and the RPG elements that the series is well known for weren't in the first game. That's in now. James Arnold Taylor, the guy who played Ratchet from the second game on, didn't play him in the first game, so we now have him in the origin story as well. Plus an hour of new cutscenes, footage from the movie. There's lots of new stuff here. I thought it was time to get you a new run. I love the pairing of these two together. It's kind of like me and Vic. I'm the smart one, and Vic is the one who's stronger and does all the the, uh, activities in the and game. Right on his back. And right? I ride on his back mostly. Uh, but uh, what, what sort of new touches are scattered around? Can you give me a, a tangible example of one? Sure. So one of the, uh, if you've seen the Metropolis segment that's probably getting played behind me, in the original game we had like a train sequence. You're on a train. It was like four carts. They're all flat. The enemies couldn't move because on the PS2 we didn't have the power to make them move on these moving platforms. Now it's this gigantic long, you know, set piece sequence with all these different cars. There's animal cars. There's, you know, a car that has speeders that you knock off so you can move through. There's more enemies. Uh, it's much more beautiful. Or another example, we go to the planet Gaspar, and in that level was a really small Ratchet and Clank level. We've added a huge exploration section where you get to use the jetpack from Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus and fly around the level hunting these brains. And so there's levels have been completely reimagined, and we've added tons of new segments, and also taken the best stuff from the future series and the later Ratchet and Clank games and brought it back to this origin story game. Ratchet and Clank has been around for so long. I think the original came out in the 1967 and somehow it's still relevant though and you guys continue to make these characters and the relationship relevant tell me what's new in the way that these two interact that maybe we haven't seen before do they finally kiss here uh, no kissing, but I think it's definitely the tenor of the relationship. You know, if you remember that first game, like, they were, there was a lot of abrasion between the two, and I think it's definitely kind of evolved into more of, if you think about the future series, a lot about the heart and the relationship between the two, I think you'll see some of that injected back into this game, into the relationship between the two in this game. So that'll be a little bit different. You're also going to see some new, brand new characters in the story that weren't there the first time around. And the film has some great new characters, like a mentor for Ratchet and some other stuff. So you're going to see some new dynamics to the story. Plus, in the game, Game. If you see the movie, the game doesn't just follow the movie story. The game is the story from the perspective of Captain Quark. So you're going to hear the way he saw all this happen, and you're going to get to see kind of the things that happened in between the scenes of the movie and the planets and adventures that occurred in between things in the movie. We want you!